Hi, I'm Peter Marks with Napa Valley Wine Academy. I'm here to talk about wines from the Queriana region of Spain and within the portfolio of wines produced by Grandes Viños. Now, one of their special wineries is called Monasteria de las Viñas. This is named after a famous monastery that was built by Cistercian monks in the 11th century. The vines for this particular wine are planted at an elevation between 1,800 and 2,400 feet. And the vines age from about 45 to 50 years of age. They're all head trained, they're dry farmed, and there's a really unique soil here that's a combination of clay and very rocky soil. So it's not very fertile, and the clay is very fortunate to have that because it allows the vines to soak up some of the water that's kept in the clay soil. As a result of this relatively dry climate and not very fertile soil, the yields are extremely low. And that I can tell just by looking at the color of this wine. This wine is a blend of 50% Garnacha, 30% Tempranillo, and 20% Cadiana. Now Cadiana is the same as the Carignan grape, and it's given rise to the name of the region Cadiana. But even though the region's named after the grape, the most popular variety in the area is the Garnacha grape. This wine really is just incredibly rich, powerful, dark berry fruit. Lots of black fruit, blackberry, alala berry, ripe plum, sweet ripe cherry. There's even some black licorice. This was aged in about 50% uh, French oak and a 50% American oak. And it gives a nice little toastiness, maybe a little bit of cedar and some baking spice. Wow, this is amazing wine. Smelling it, I know it's gonna taste good. Oh, beautiful. You know, one of the things, I always love to talk about wines that have a little bit of bottle age, is how beautiful the tannins are integrated. Now this wine spent 24 months in oak and then an additional three years in the bottle. That's the, the criteria for a Grand Reserva. And during that time, I think the tannins have softened up to make this wine extremely supple and yet have enough structure to still go another 10 years or more in your cellar. And it's very youthful. As I said, it doesn't taste like a wine that's seven years old. It seems much younger than that. I believe this wine will only improve in the bottle. It's a true illustration of what Gran Reserva can be from Spain. And this is a wine that probably retails in the U.S. market for about $22 a bottle. If you think about quality price ratio, I don't think there's anything better than this. Salud.